All right. So, um, <clears throat> just to talk generally, um, well, I'll share about my experience uh, with money and um, money and spirituality. And there is um, a Course in Miracles lesson. I think God is the source of my security, isn't there? I think there's something along those lines. God is the source of my security. God is the source of my love. And looking at you know Hawkins' work. Really, um, the more I let go of, of my control, my thoughts, and my beliefs, and my fears, uh, I go to a higher vibrational level. And at a higher vibrational level, the universe starts to uh, take care of me. Now, there's a few things, like I get, often get asked a lot of questions more from a left brain perspective, like how to think about it on an analytical or in a cause and effect thing. But the, the way um, I sort of see it was I, I was on, um, I had kidney failure after the stock market and I was on benefits for quite a few years. And um, when I was in these 12 step groups and um, I was quite used to the benefits, uh, but then and I was having a freedom pass as well because I was so badly ill that the doctor just gave me like a freedom pass and benefits at the highest level straight off. I think he must have felt really sorry for me. And, um, but then, you know, the years went by and things got tighter and, and I started doing 12 steps. And, um, and my life started to get better and better. And I was doing the Course in Miracles for my health conditions. And after about, you know, three to five years, all my illnesses were leaving me. The gout was leaving me, the asthma was leaving me, as I was feeling my feelings, doing the Course in Miracles and doing Hawkins' work. And then, uh, and then eventually I had a transplant, that was the big thing. When I had the transplant, my health really catapulted up. And it was because I was doing the spiritual work, my vibration was increasing. I was letting go of all the fear, shame and guilt through the spiritual work. And, and it's like my health was getting better. And so I knew, because I was in a 12-step program, you know, about being honest, that you can't really have to let the benefits and the freedom pass go. So um, I did. I let the freedom pass. Without them coming to me, I went. And so I remember, you know, I went to the, um, I contacted the local council and said, you know, I'd like to hand in, you know, stop my freedom pass. And I got this kind of reply. And she was like, she knew why I was doing it, but she was like, I think she was kind of giving me a compliment, like, that's not usually the way around that it happens, that you sort of go in and say, I'd like to hand over my £2,000 free travel in London and start paying myself. Which is, what is it, about 5 to £7 pounds or £10 pounds a day. It's, it's quite awful. I'm now, and I pay for my travel, which is like £1,900 a year by yearly pass. But um, I don't have any resentment about that. But um, So then the thing came, and I joined some... Um, 12-step fellowships uh, regarding money. Uh, that was very, very useful. 12-step fellowships are like Debtors Anonymous, Underrunners Anonymous. They were quite useful. And what I found was um, that fear around money and direction. Also, um, I was very, very lucky that I was helping... I was helping... Um, <clears throat> I was helping a, a person in one of the fellowships who actually was also a very good kinesiology, um, I just, just helping someone with her food problems. And she was actually really, really good uh, for muscle testing. I could ask questions and she was like a really good clear instrument so I could get really accurate answers. And I, and I said, I have no clue what I should be doing with my life. And, and she said to me, you should be like a spiritual teacher. Uh, so I checked it out with her arm because I thought, you know, didn't think that was a very good idea. Well, I, I'd love to do it, but I just didn't feel that my left brain didn't, couldn't see that happening. But I checked it out with her arm, and, and it came out, yes, you know, that um, I should be a spiritual teacher. So that gave me a lot of, um, and I suppose that's a good thing with, if you have access to muscle testing. But as the vibration goes, it's like the universe starts to direct you in what you should be doing and how you should be doing it and, and what should be happening. And I found as I was doing uh, in these spiritual groups and working on and, and doing my own spiritual stuff, which is feeling my feelings and cancelling all the beliefs 
and negativity around. I knew that as my vibration, as the fear lifts, the universe would show me the right, would point out the right places and situations I should be doing and it would be taken care of. And I found that um, as I was in these money fellowships and as I was clearing my fear, you know, quite coincidentally, um, both my parents at the same time. So it just shows like when you release your fear, the universe starts to support you financially. Both my parents signed their, wrote their wills and, uh, and I had the wills. And then my father said, you can, I can run his B&B. And I went and worked in his B&B and that suddenly came out after I was processing my fear. And, um, and then, you know, slowly the means came by to write the book uh, and to do the YouTube channel. And then I was getting uh, some coaching clients um, and, and doing video products. So all of that happened by, and um, also I had, you know, the great thing about, I think either you should have a spiritual coach or it should be part of, you could be a member of a 12 step group just to have you take action. Found taking action and having spiritual buddies, uh, you know, often God can use those to sort of, um, to sort of do things. But, um, one of the things that I found, uh, yeah, the two things. One is having someone uh, taking some action around it, and just processing all your fear so you go to a higher vibration. And I know that when I have any fear in me about something, it's going to be a lot more difficult. And if I can clear 100% of the fear, usually a miracle will happen and will point the direction. One of the things um, I get asked about is. Um, um, doing finance, you know, doing financial things. Um, you know, you can, you know, like I have a B job, which is helping my father property, and I have my A job, which is my spiritual coaching, spiritual books, spiritual courses. So, they, you know, sometimes you can have, you know, you can be doing two things in parallel. If it's like, you know, you need to pay the rent or, or whatever it is. Um, the other thing uh, with marketing, if it's something like if you're in the coaching, a lot of people I, I meet are in the coaching type therapy slash whatever, therapist um, or, or some kind of um, thing is with marketing is usually just having buddies to help support you with taking actions. Um, and um, uh, what I found, you know, in the 12 steps groups, they talk about attraction, not promotion. And I think that's another useful thing. So I think apart from, I think marketing is good, but I also think just putting a lot of stuff of who you are out there and putting out materials and letting people know who you are is also another, just another way of getting yourself out there.